why the fuck did I even watch this show? Orange is the New Black, Season 5. You know what, to be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot to say about this damn season. My cousin, Cousin China, who you see on the couch before, she recommended the show to me. I watched it. Actually, I binge watched seasons one through four last year around the same time. And I, I find myself enjoying it. I was surprised by how much I enjoyed the show because I never thought I would enjoy, enjoy a show about um, women's prison. And I enjoyed it a lot. You know, some of the stuff I could have did without seeing. But overall, it, it, it was enjoyment. You know, it's, it's got comedy elements in it. It's got some serious stuff in there, social issues and whatnot. So I, and I, I enjoyed it. And the characters also, the characters were pretty cool too. So I enjoyed seasons one through four. And the way season four ended, season four ended on, on, a, bad, on a bad note, on a sad note. Matter of fact, if you're watching this video, I'm just going to assume that you've seen the show. So spoiler alert okay so if you have not seen it stop the video go watch it then come back but i'm gonna I'm I'm lay some spoilers here some heavy spoilers season four ended on a bad note with uh, of course uh uh pose I'm, I'm think i'm saying the name right pose uh, getting killed by the ceo uh you know what i had to write down the names of some of these characters because i don't remember there's like so many of them i can't remember them uh was it uh bailey yeah uh correction officer bailey uh accidentally killed her and it, it ended on a note where, because like I said, like it's comedy mixed with, with some real shit in there. But when that happened, um, things escalated, you know, a riot broke out. And then it ended with, um, what is her name? Uh, Diaz, the character of Diaz, who I have a crush on. Her name is uh, Dasha Polanco, I think you say her name. But yeah, I, I got a major crush on her. And um, yeah, so she, she has the gun pointed at C.O. Humphrey. And she's getting ready to blow his brains out. All the girls are, are trying to get her to do it. And you don't know what happens because it, it cuts off. And now you have to wait till season five to find out what happens. It picks up right where season four uh, left off. And it, it starts out with, you know, with, what is her name again? How, how can I have a crush on this girl and not know her name? Uh, <laughs> Diaz. Okay, Diaz goes through with the shooting. Okay, she shoots Humphrey in the leg. Uh, wounds him pretty bad. And... It's like it went from being a real serious situation with how season four ended to now, okay, it's going back to the comedy element of it again, which does not fit because it's like, okay, you, you brought us to this point, okay, we got emotionally involved with, with this story with these characters, and then you go back to doing lighthearted shit again. And it was just too many uh, subplots, too much shit going on. Like, this season was all over the place with the characters. And every time something interesting would happen, they would cut to something that I really did not care about. Like, they would go from a serious situation that had to do with Tasty trying to get justice for Pose. And then it jumps to these other characters. It jumps to, like, Piper and Alex, who I, I, can get, I can care less about. And the show originally was about Piper, about her experience in this woman's prison. But it kind of got away from her and it got to these other characters now. But it just kept cutting, you know, between... And I understand they have to show what's going on with all these characters. But it's like, at the end, it's like, stick to the shit that's, that's interesting. You know, stick to kind of like one thing at a time. And that's what this season was, was lacking. And for the first six episodes, honestly, I really wasn't into it. Between watching the NBA Finals and checking out the Black Panther uh, trailer... Busted all kind of nerdgasms watching that damn trailer. Then around episode eight or nine, when um, Pescatella, I think that's his name, the, the crazy uh, CO, the, the big guy, when he snuck into the prison or whatever, because the whole point of this season is that they they rioted and now they they're holding the prison hostage and they have hostages. They have the um, the COs in there, and then that 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 cooking lady, that knockoff Martha Stewart, they have her. So they have hostages, so the SWAT team can't come in there and bum rush because they they're negotiating. So that's the bulk of the season is these negotiations and trying to get their demands met and get justice for Pose. And, um, I, you know, I feel funny every time I say that name. From episode 8 on, like when, when Pescatella sneaks in, it does start to pick up a little bit. Things progress and then by the end, it ends in a cliffhanger. And I hate cliffhangers, okay? This, but this cliffhanger was worse than Walking Dead season 6 with Negan where you have to find out we bash in the head. It's like the you know the SWAT team comes in, um, all the COs had got let go, so they're they're taking all these ladies out, all these characters that we know and love, and they well not so much love, but they taking all these characters and they're you know taking them outside, roughing them up, and they're about to send them to other prisons or whatever. 
but a handful of them actually gets away. They get they uh, snuck into this underground bunk, and they think they pretty much got away, and they get caught. But you don't know what happens. Like they, the SWAT team bust in there, getting ready to you know guns ablaze. You see, tasting everybody jump, and then it cuts off. Piss me off. Only highlight of this season, I'll say, is when Pescatello got shot, because I couldn't wait for that motherfucker to go. Like, I hated that dude, man. He was just, he was he was out there. And in a way, uh, Crazy, the character of Crazy, she almost died, too. And in a way, this may be unpopular, but I was hoping she died, because to me, she's responsible for Pose getting killed. She was just, she's just a, a useless character. She crazy as hell. She serves no purpose, but to just be crazy and do and say random stupid shit i was ready for her to go but you can't get everything you want at least i got one of the two so pescatella got taken out that was the only highlight of the season i think i've been spoiled with the sopranos and the wire and breaking bad three of the most iconic shows of all time and i guess my standards and expectations are just too high and um that, that that's just what i expect now from a show like i expect great writing great acting great stories great characters I'm sorry, so yeah, this is another one that lost me. Power, please don't lose me. I, I'm I'm trusting you, you know. Come through. I've been talking about you. I got two videos on you. Come through. I'm talking about it like it's an actual person, but man, I hope power comes through though, man. But yeah, this show lost me. I'm gonna go ahead and grade season five. Um, the series as a whole, from season one through four, I give I would give season one through four like a B minus, okay. But this season, season five of Orange is the New Black, I give a D. Fuck that, a D minus. Bullshit. Only reason I didn't give it an F is because Pescatella got shot at the end. He got killed, and I got some satisfaction of that. But other than that, nah, it wasn't happening. So that's my review on Orange is the New Black season five. I binge watched it this weekend. Had to think about it a little bit. Make sure I hated it as much as I did. And I, I care not to watch it again. So that's my review. Um, what do you what you think about the show? If you watched it, uh, hopefully you watched it because, like I said, I I laid some spoilers down here. So um, what do you, what did you think? Comment below. Comment freely. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is Rashad G signing out.